when I am installing a kitchen for clients, they quite often want to keep their current plumbing because then they can save money on the plumber. And if the sink cabinet goes in the same position, I understand that. However, as you can see, sometimes the plumbing is not easy to make a workaround, and that's why quite often it ends up looking like this. And of course, we don't want that. So in this video, I will show you how to make those cuts around the pipes so it will look nice and tidy. The example I'm using is this one. You can see there's two water pipes sticking up from the floor and there's a drain pipe tucked away right next to those pipes. And if we did not have those valves on top of the pipes, I could just assemble the cabinet. But since we don't want to have those big three inch holes at the bottom of the cabinet, I need to have a different approach. And what I often do is I build the sink cabinet around the pipes. I don't assemble the cabinet and cut out because quite often you have pipes coming in more than one direction and that means that you cannot cut out in the cabinet and then get it into place. So I have to build the cabinet around the pipes. This picture is from the actual plan of the kitchen and as you can see the sink cabinet is sitting next to a corner cabinet and as always we do have the dishwasher next to the sink cabinet and in this case that means I can build the sink cabinet around the pipes from the left to the right because I need room next to the sink cabinet in order to assemble it in place. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have put the right side of the cabinet. Uh, I attached the bracket at the top, which you cannot see, but I certainly did that. And now I hung it on the rail and I clamped it to the corner cabinet. Now I can measure from the inside of this cabinet to the pipes and from the pipes to the wall. And that means I can make the cutout for those two pipes. I do not want to make a cutout for the drain because the plumber can do that because in this case, he will remove the pipe from the basement and he can make a hole in the cabinet right through the floor where he want that drain pipe to be. So here it is, the bottom of the cabinet. And I have uh, marked those two positions where I want those holes. And the cup drill I'm using is not bigger than the diameter of the pipe uh, because then we got a nice snug fit for those pipes. Before I drill those holes, I want to share a little uh, tip with you that you can use some of the cardboard, the thick pieces from the, uh, from the packaging as an underlay for when you're drilling those holes. Then you don't need to cut into another uh, cabinet side or down to the work, uh, work table. I find that very convenient that you just uh, chuck it in there and then you can start drilling. There we are, holes have been made and I have marked where I want to cut. The whole idea of this is to uh, cut out a big piece and put it right back in instead of just cutting strips up to those holes. I find that is a much better solution and it will look much nicer. And here's the trick. When you cut those lines with your oscillating tool, you don't hold your tool perpendicular to the surface of the piece you're cutting. No, you're leaning it and you can lean it uh, quite a bit uh, downwards. You want to make sure that you are cutting into the hole and not away from the hole because the whole idea is that you get a ledge on which you can rest that piece that you're cutting out. And uh, you'll see that here that I have cut. This is probably approximately 45 degree and now I can take out that piece and cut away in front of the holes. Otherwise I will never be able to get those pipes in there. And now I'm ready to assemble the cabinet around the pipes. However, in this case, I can take the right side of the cabinet and the bottom of the cabinet and uh, put them together. And then I can lift both of them into place around the pipes and put them in place. As you can see, I added the legs to the left side of the bottom. Otherwise, it's unsupported and uh, you will get some damage to the cabinet. So we do want to avoid that. Put those legs on and then hang this piece with those two together up on the rail. Now it's time to put that piece you cut out uh, back in the uh, cabinet uh, bottom. Uh, before you do that though, since we are cutting away a bit of material, if you just put it in there, it will sit lower than the rest of the cabinet. And I like to do it, uh, you know, so it looks really well. So what I do is I uh, put in a few nails 
on those two long sides of this piece because that would create a bit of distance between those two pieces and then you'll have the same level at the bottom of the cabinet. So you just uh, add uh, a few nails but don't put them all the way in. It may take a few tries for you to get the right distance, but uh, you can put the piece in and take it out and adjust the nails until you are happy with the result. And finally, you put that piece back in the opening. Uh, you can either use some uh, wood glue or you can use some uh, cork. I have started to use cork lately because if you add those nails, there'll be a distance and the glue will uh, most likely just uh, run off and you will not get this uh, to sit well together. And uh, when it's done, you just uh, assemble the rest of the cabinets. And I'm not going to show you this because you just slide in the back and you put on the left gable of the cabinet, put on the reinforced rail for the sink cabinet and uh, tighten it all together. And um, that's it. The cabinet is in place and it looks really well. Before we go, I just want to show you a few examples where I have uh, also cut into the cabinet. And as you can see here, we got the pipe sitting really close together. And uh, I just, you know, go ahead with the same procedure and, uh, and the result is uh, equally satisfying for the client that there is not a big hole at the bottom of the cabinet. You may be thinking that the hole for the dishwasher pipe is, a, is a <laughs> bigger than normal and yes it is. But in this case, I needed to leave a bit of room for the plumber to uh, put on his tools. This is copper piping and uh, you do not want it to be uh, sitting too tight. Uh, when the plumber needs to go with his tools because otherwise, you know, the soldering can break off and whatnot. We don't want this to happen. So in this case, I left a bit of room for the plumber to apply his spanner on that one. On this one, we have the vent pipe sitting on the drain pipe. So, and that's going into the wall, as you can see. So in this case, I built the cabinet in the exact same way, like we just uh, discussed, but um, the holes for the water pipes, they were much easier. But uh, as you can see, it is possible with pretty much any plumbing to make it look much nicer than just this very big and uh, unpleasant hole at the bottom of the cabinet. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.